everybody and welcome back again to the Pokemon White version random lock with me Kevin aka Volcazar. Last time we had a bit of an unfortunate accident where we lost against Getsis, the final antagonist of the game which cost us our entire team frankly and that reason I had to make an entirely new team, six brand new members all at level 55 now and I will showcase them to you in just a second but just to explain uh, this is also the reason why episode 51 took a while to get uploaded because this happened after I filmed like episodes 50 uh, up until last episode I filmed all of that but I stopped at episode 50 so I knew I was gonna have to train and then I filmed, I trained, I filmed the newest episodes uh, and then this unfortunate accident happened and then I had to train again which is why I waited with uploading episode number 51 until after I was sure that my team was back up to speed. So without further ado let's us showcase the new and improved team setup. To start things off, we have our old pal Pangea, the good Regigigas, not the newest Regigigas. We have brought him back. I've trained him up to level 55. As you can see, his ability is still download. But there is one little change, and that is Sludge Bomb. Now, I have taught him Sludge Bomb instead of Vine Whip A because Vine Whip was not that powerful and B because Poison was kind of missing from my team when I taught it that. Now the good thing is Sludge Bomb is a relearned move which means that uh, Regigigas can learn it but he learned it before I caught it and he forgot it. So he has Sludge Bomb back. Next up is the Brick Surprise. It is if he wants to switch. Robert Nido, now a Nido King. Now you may remember Robert Nido as a Nido Ran that we caught in the desert resort way, 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 way back before we got the Dark Stone. He has now got the awesome, awesome ability Poison Point. And as you can see, his moveset is pretty powerful. Now Bolt Strike, Dig and Magna Bomb were moves that he already had. Psychic is one new move that he learned. Now I am very proud of Robert Nido. He is proven to be quite a powerhouse. Next up, John C. Our beloved Heatmore that we used for a little while in the Celestial Tower. If I'm not mistaken, the Celestial Tower. Whatever that one. He has the Volt Absorb ability, very, very useful. He has Poison Fang, Ice Wind, Secret Fire, which I taught him because he had no fire moves whatsoever, and Giga Drain, which is also a learned move from ATM, uh, which I gave to him. Next up, Hawaii, the Torterra. Now, this guy, you haven't probably seen a lot of him yet because I, I caught him on Route 18 and I have no game footage of that event so he has never really been in the spotlight before. He has the awesome leaf guard ability which is useful if there is an opponent who has sunny day. Now he learned spatial rend, surprise surprise, rock wrecker, fly, I taught him that and flash cannon, he learned that himself as well which is awesome awesome awesome. Next up is Atnologia, the Flygon. The Overgrow ability is a bit wasted on him. I, he can't really learn any grass moves, which is unfortunate. If he could, I would have given him a grass move. But anyway, he already had Water Spout and Twin Needle, but he had two useless attacks for the rest of that. So I gave him Fiery Dance and he actually learned Hyper Beam a couple levels ago. Go. And finally, but definitely not least, is Victorian. The, uh, what is it? Chandler? Yeah, Chandler. Solid Rock ability. Very, very useful. He is my Surf 
HM user, he also has Megahorn Revenge, which is not that good, and Thunderbolt. Now with that, we have our brand new team setup, and I believe with 55 as a level, we are pretty much ready to take on. I believe we only have to rematch Getsis. I don't think we have to rematch him, but without question i am going to put panji up front to kick down that stupid arceus that killed us last time and if you'll excuse me now i'm going to change the team setup on the left and then i will meet you at the top of inn's castle i'll see you guys in just a minute Oh man, if only I had waited until it thought out. I could have had a Charmeleon instead of a stupid Cherubi. Oh well. Ho 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 ho! Don't you dare, buddy. Oh yeah. Counter. Eh, let's check. Eh, Miracle Eye, what is this? Yeah, sure. Do I have no use for that? Cool! Risk. Eh. Alrighty, let's do this. Final member of the team, ready for action. Alrighty, we are now at Top End's castle. Let's us go. Oh, I'm losing my frame again in the stead of the game. Now, as you can see on the left, I have updated the team setup with new images for the brand new members, of course. Let's try this again here. Alrighty, so it seems that we only have to reface Getsis, which is awesome. Okay. Oh, wow. Straight jump into the battle. <laughs> Alrighty, bring it on, Getsy boy. Arceus, you won't fool me twice, buddy. You will not fool me twice. I am ready for you now. Actually, oh wow, what the? Forgot about that. Hmm. That's actually useful for Pangea. Oh no, uh, for was over the fly gone. I've got either of those two with the the grass ability that boosts with sunlight. Ah, oh, whatever. Die, stupid Arceus. What the freak? Five thousand points. <laughs> Yo, that Nidorina. I'm going to switch to. Oh, well, why not? Robert Nido. <laughs> I want to showcase my team a bit. Damn. Dancer gets this. <laughs> Sandstream. <laughs> That's actually pretty useful. 
Uh, let's try a bolt strike. Snatch. <laughs> Gratis. Gratis. His music is so egotistical. Oh yeah. I was expecting exactly that kind of move. <laughs> what are you, psychic? Ha ha ha. Ah well. I mean, this is a lot less scary now than it was the first time, because I kind of know his team a bit. Uh, let's try John Cena. He's pretty useful, because I've been fighting Rayquazas in Victory Road, and his ice attack really came in useful. Damn. Mesprit? Holy shit. I did not see that last time. Well, I guess this is the only one I didn't see because I think I saw five of a six member last time. Mesprit, huh. Interesting. <sighs> Trace. Aw, oh, really? Oh well. Let's try this. Rock slide. That's not gonna do much. Special endo. Boom, bitch. Oh, really? That's it? Ah, oh, well. Rock Wrecker ought to solve that problem by doing a shitload of damage. There we go. Oh, wow. You lived through that. Damn. Oh, the sandstorm got him. Damn, that's awesome. Mian Xiao. Yeah, we did see that one last time. Ah, Mian Xiao. Yeah, why not? Acnologia. I want to showcase everybody off. And I believe that aside from Chandelure, this is the last one you haven't seen. I really like Flygon. He's powerful. Or she, rather. Hurricane. Oh, wow. Oh, well, shit. He's level 54. I didn't even see that. Damn, that's high. Uh, I'm gonna switch to Victorian. Because I don't want to lose Agnologia. Because I don't have... I really don't have any more standby members. Oh, what the freak? War of Time? Holy fuck! Oh my god! Uh... I'm gonna need to heal here. Fucking crud. Jesus Christ, this mean show is a challenging one. <laughs> oh wow. Well now, let's try this. Oh dude, you're faster? What? Roar of fucking time, man. I know I mean I have spatial random Torterra, but Damn. Oh what? Okay, this is not working at all. Uh, why? I need you, my friend. God, that music is so... So egocentric. Fucking forest door, I should have known. Oh well. At least we're doing better than last time. I got annihilated last time. Oh my god. It wasn't even funny anymore. Oh, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? That hit me in the sky? You f 
fucking bastard! Yeah, it's good that Torterra is big tang, because otherwise that would have killed me. Holy shit. Magmar? I don't remember that one either. Uh, who has water? I know Logale. Son of a bitch. That was a close one. I almost lost a member again. Fuck you, Getsis. How many do you have left? That's your last one? Okay. I think this is in the bag. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, really? You survived that? What shot? What is going on here? <laughs> I am finally winning. Cut me some fucking slack, man. Oh, dude! That almost killed me. What? Oh, no. Yeah, that's right. Water spout. Oh, I know it goes weaker as I go weaker. Ah, oh, dude, really? It gets weaker if I get weaker. Oh, that sucks. Oh well, this is his last one. There's no way I'm gonna lose. Come on! Uh, poison Fang, why not? I mean, say what you will, but I like End's battle music a lot more than this one. Way more epic. The answer gets this. My calculations know my schemes. The world should be mine. And yet it is not. What? I created Team Plasma with my own hands. I am absolutely perfect. I am perfection! Really, dude? I am the perfect ruler of a perfect new world. No, you're not. Now, N, do you still think that people and Pokemon should be separated? <laughs> Since I shouldn't become the hero myself and obtain legendary Pokemon, I prepared someone for that purpose. And that is N. He is nothing more than a freak without the human heart. That's harsh, man. Do you think you're going to get through to a warped person like that? Although it's a waste of valuable time listening to him. He's the one without a human heart. Yeah, that's true. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick cut here because I'm running up on 10 minutes recording. I'll be right back. Okay, he's truly pitiful. I sure have much to think... What? Sure you have much to think about. I know you were not pursuing the truth because of Getz's manipulation, but because your heart was truly inspired. That is what you were able to meet, the legendary Pokémon. But I have no right to be the hero. Is that so? What you and the legendary Pokémon are going to do from now on, that is important, wouldn't you say? Acting like you understand, up until now we've been fighting each other over our beliefs. Yet, despite that, why? And even if we don't understand each other, that is not a reason to reject each other. There are two sides to any argument. Yeah, otherwise there wouldn't be an argument. Is there one point of view that has the answers? Give it some thought. Because no, there is not one single truth. Nobody is absolutely right, you know. I want to talk to you about something. I like this music. You, when I first met you in Accumula Town, I was shocked when I heard what your Pokemon was saying. I was shocked because it said it liked you. It said it wanted to be with you. Why do you keep shaking? No, man. I couldn't understand. I couldn't believe there were people, uh, Pokemon that liked people. Because up until that moment, I'd never known a Pokemon like that. Yeah, because Guess has manipulated you. He only showed you miserable Pokemon. The longer my journey continued, the more unsure I became. All I kept meeting were Pokemon and people who communicated with each other and helped one another. 
That's why I needed to confirm my beliefs by battling you. I wanted to confront you hero to hero. I need needed that more than anything. There's no way a person like me, someone who understands only Pokemon. No, I didn't understand them either. No way I could measure up to you, who had met so many Pokemon and was surrounded by friends. The champion has forgiven me. What should I do now is something I have to decide for myself. Kevin. Yes, please. You said you have a dream. Make it come true. Wonderful dreams and ideals give you the power to change the world. If anyone can, it is you. Well then, farewell. Goodbye, Anne. You were a worthy, worthy opponent. Damn, man. Whoo! Oh, we did it. I can't believe we came that close last time and that we failed at the very last moment. We absolutely made it to the last boss in the game. And then we failed at it. I mean, it's ridiculous when you think about it. But, ah, uh, man. It's been fun. It's been fun. It's been a lot of hateful moments. It's been a lot of fun moments. Been a few sad moments. But it's been a good experience for me. I liked it a lot. It's been something that I wanted to do for a while now because I really like Pokemon and the randomized element really gives an edge to the game. Something that you don't get from really just playing it normally. It's something really unique and it makes a bit more challenging. It makes a bit for some funny situations too. I mean, we've, we've had some really cool and strange encounters and uh, yeah. If I could, uh, I would definitely do it again. I might, in the future, do another one of these for like uh, Y2 version. If I manage to get the game running, then I might do that eventually. But uh, I'm thinking um, we're definitely not done with white version just yet. There are still the, the, um, the roaming legendaries and the hidden legendaries that I want to find. Uh, post game, but I think that is about it. I don't think we'll be exploring the entire right region of Unova because I don't know. It seems that like, like a lot of new places and a lot of new things to do. I might run through it, see what it's like, but uh, I don't know yet. I think I'm gonna just take a little look at it. I'm gonna film a little bit of it. In the next in the next few episodes, and then we'll see where we go from there. So I haven't decided yet on where I really want to go with the playthrough from here on. What's this? Ooh! Ah, oh, that's nice. Saving. Do not turn off the power. The end. For now. Well, that's about it for this part, I guess. We finally beaten the final boss of the game. I think I'm going to wrap up this episode right here. If you have any suggestions or remark, feel free to leave a comment, a like, or a subscription. That helps me out, and that proves that you also are enjoying the show. I will be continuing. I don't know when exactly the continuation is going to be, but there will definitely be a continuation. But for now, I think I'm going to leave it right here. With that being said, this was Kevin, a.k.a. Volkazart. Signing off until the next video. Bye!